Well, I've been getting a lot of emails lately as well as comments on my other videos. People seem to be asking, Russell, what are the best Medicare supplement plans for 2021? Now, we saw some big changes in 2020 with Plan F no longer being available to anybody turning 65 January 1st and beyond of 2020. Will there be that big of changes for 2021? Stick around and find out. I'm Russell Noga, owner of Metasubs.com. I created this company 11 years ago when I was shopping for Medicare supplement insurance for my own mom. I was totally confused. I got calls from agents night and day because they sold my information online and I knew there could be a better way. And we're an independent agency. We shop the rates for our clients every year. We never sell your information. We give quotes on our website, unlike most other sites out there. And we make sure that our clients pay the least amount possible every year because you will get rate increases and we watch those for you. So if you're new to Medicare, just turning 65 now or perhaps in 2021, you also might be asking, what are the best Medicare supplement plans for 2021? I wanna know. Well, you can just throw Plan F out the window. You're not even allowed to enroll in it, but that's okay. Plan G and Plan N are better options anyway. Now, Medicare supplement Plan G is identical to Plan F, the only difference being Somebody's got to pay a Part B deductible before Medicare or the supplement plan start paying. Plan F pays that for you. With Medicare Supplement Plan G, it's called the Annual Medicare Part B Deductible. You would pay that yourself. And then it almost turns into a Plan F where it has 100% coverage after you pay that deductible. So many of you watching this might still have Plan F and you probably love it. It's 100% coverage. I do understand that. I'm only encouraging you to possibly let us help to look at the rates of a Plan G, explain the difference again if you'd like, and then do the math because we've been saving people money all week getting them from Plan F to Plan G. The last couple I spoke with saved a combined 700, almost $750 by switching them to Plan G, and that's after they paid their Part B deductible. So if you do have a Plan F, you can keep it, but you can also even switch to a Plan F with another company if they have a lower rate. But again, that is if you were eligible for Medicare prior to January 1st of 2020. Anyone new coming on Medicare that date or after cannot get a Plan F. So what can you get? Like I mentioned, Plan G or Medicare Supplement Plan N. So let's do a quick breakdown of exactly what Plan G covers and how it works. With Plan G, you will have your monthly premium, of course, to have the plan. Let us shop those premiums. Every company has the same Plan G, but they all charge different premiums for it. Now, we are an independent agency, like I mentioned. We shop all the rates. There's never a cost for any of our services, but we shop the rates so you don't have to, and we'll find the lowest Plan G for you in your area. So with Plan G after your monthly premium, you're only going to have one out-of-pocket expense, and that is the Medicare Annual Part B deductible. Now in 2020, that deductible is $198. We expect it to be about $210 for 2021. We'll know later in the year. Medicare doesn't like to tell us till the end of the year. But after that deductible is paid, and that is just simply the first this year, $198, 2020, the first $198 of your medical bills you pay. After that, it's 100% coverage. Plan F pays that for you, except it's a $198 benefit that would cost you probably $300 or more dollars to get. That's just money down the drain, in my opinion. You should go with Plan G in that case, where you just pay it yourself, and then that 100% coverage kicks in. Now remember, because these plans are standardized by the government, it doesn't matter if it's Mutual of Omaha, Aetna, Ascendo, Cigna, whenever a company has a Plan G, it's identical coverage, but the premiums will vary widely all over the place. So we want to be sure and shop those rates for you to get you the lowest premiums and make sure you don't overpay. To do that, just give us a call. Our phone number is one 888 891-0229. There's just a couple of us here, but we focus on servicing our clients and we do that better than anybody out there. So let's talk about that other plan I mentioned, which in fact is Medicare Supplement Plan N. Now with Plan N, it's almost identical to Plan G in that you still pay the annual Part B deductible. However, with Plan N, in exchange for lower premiums, because Plan N is cheaper than Plan G, and it could be by quite a bit, you will have some, what's called some extra cost sharing options. Now, what those cost sharing options mean is just additional expenses that you could incur in exchange for that lower premium. So what are these additional expenses for Plan N? Well, you could have a copay of up to $20 per doctor's visit 
after you meet your deductible, when you go back to the doctor throughout the year, you could have a small copay, but it will never be more than $20. Could be less or could be no copay. Just depends on what you go for. As well with Plan N, if you visit the emergency room and you're not admitted, this is if you visit the emergency room and you go home, there'll be a $50 copay. Plan N also doesn't call, cover what's called Part B excess charges. These are extremely rare. In 11 years, I've never had a client get one. If the doctors don't take the assigned rates from Medicare, and over 96 or 7% of doctors do, but if they don't, you come across somebody who doesn't, they can charge up to 15% extra of the bill, and you would be charged a percentage of that. Again, extremely rare. Plan N is a fantastic option, and we should definitely take a look at it. So to answer, what are the best Medicare supplement plans for 2021? Well, it's going to either be Plan G or Plan N all the way. Now, to get enrolled in one of these plans, well, I would highly recommend you work with an independent agency. I know one. They're really, really good. I've heard about them. So that's what we do. We're free. We, there's never a cost for anything we do, but we'll take great care of you. Make sure you're always in the lowest premiums you qualify for for years to come. The problem is if you go direct to an insurance carrier, they have big call centers full of hundreds and hundreds of people and they only sell one company. And if they don't sell you their company, they don't sell you anything. Now that is looking out for their best interest, not yours, which is why we do what we do. It's the same rate whether you use us or not. You don't pay us any commission. We're paid by the insurance carriers, but you get the option of us, the benefit I should say, of us shopping the rates every year for you. So again, to get help right away, just give us a call now. You can talk to myself or my agent, Diana Firth, one of the top agents in the country. Our phone number is 1-888-891-0229. And we look forward to helping you get in one of the best Medicare supplement plans for 2021.